Hi guys, it's Vesna here. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing two different signs from materials from the Dollar Tree. So the first sign that I'm making is actually really, really simple. I am using this cutting board, so I'm just removing the wrapping from it. It is the white plastic cutting board from the Dollar Tree. And it is already white so I don't need to paint it if you can't find the white one they do have red ones you can paint it white I've done it before so you just want to put some Mod Podge underneath and then paint it over because um, I tried painting it just without the Mod Podge and it it was a disaster so you just just have to play around with it and maybe um, before you even put the Mod Podge I would um, sand it down a little bit too but anyway i found the white one so really easy i'm just freehand writing a hot chocolate bar very easy i was gonna use my cricut um but it was just a little bit too fine the chocolate i'm doing like a uh, cursive writing so i did not want to use my cricut for that because sometimes because it's not a very big sign sometimes the cricut doesn't cut it as nice as i'd like it to i'm sure it has nothing to do with the cricut but everything to do with me um but i just preferred doing it this way and i'm going to go over it with a sharpie and you'll see when i do that now i have a thicker sharpie and i think that's the better way to go because I will be coloring it in as well. So I'm doing bubble letters for the hot cursive for the chocolate and then bubble letters for the bar. Um, I didn't want them to be the same and I wanted it to be on a slant again because I'm not because I'm doing it freehand. I figured then you do it kind of imperfectly and then it winds up being looking like you, you did it on purpose. I am really sorry for the angle of this. I actually filmed two other DIYs for this um, video, but I couldn't use them because my angle was so bad that you couldn't see what I was doing. So I recorded like 20 minutes of stuff without you actually seeing what I'm doing. Kind of like right now you can't see what I'm doing, but um, I'm just writing bar. Uh, I apologize. Sometimes that happens. I thought I could get my camera kind of in one spot and not ever have to move it, but because some of my projects are higher and lower, and then sometimes I forget to change how it is, and I think that you can see it, and you can't. So I'm working on it. I'm not a professional, so things like this happen often. Then you can see I just freehand drew a little coffee mug with, you know, steam coming out of it, and then I'm going to just put like little lines and then at the bottom I drew a star and then I decided to add this ribbon because I thought it would just add a little bit more to the sign. So the ribbon is from the Dollar Tree as well and I'm just using a little piece of it and like I said to you guys in my other videos I'm not going to show you how I made the bow I'm just gonna basically I just um, hot glued a bow together. So what I did was I just kind of cut two pieces and made a little loops hot glue them together and that created my bow again like I've said before I'm not the best of bow makers so I always kind of customize to make something that's pretty and not too difficult to make and again I apologize for the angle so here it is displayed in my hot cocoa station I think it turned out really cute um, I put this little hot cocoa kitchen vignette together for my home channel. Um, so if you wanted to see that video, I can link it right above here. And like I said, I think it turned out really cute. And on to my next project. So just before we move on to the next DIY, this uh video is a part of a challenge hosted by Sonia over at Domestic Diva DIY. If you haven't had a chance to check out her channel or her channels because she's got three of them, make sure you check them out. She does a lot of amazing DIYs, trash to treasures, thrift tulips and all sorts of stuff like that. And everything is usually on a pretty good budget. So she's really talented. Make sure you check her out. Um, and she hosts this challenge every month where we have to do a DIY of our choice and it could be any cost 
um, any budget, so it kind of lots of freedom. This the this month's theme is Christmas, winter theme. I will have Sonia's channel linked in my description below as well. I'm going to have the playlist linked in my description below, so make sure you check out both. It'll be a really creative and fun playlist, so I really hope you can check out all the videos on it, and make sure you check out Sonia's channel. She's got a DIY cooking and a home channel. So the last DIY was about a dollar, um, with the exception of the ribbon. This DIY is just under three dollars. I used one of these um, trivets as a um, base for my sign. And then I'm using some fabric. This happened to be fabric that I had from an old shirt. So if you have an old plaid shirt, you can use that. Um, and I also will be using this little uh, red truck ornament. If you don't have an old shirt, um, the Dollar Tree does have a buffalo check uh, fabric. So you could always use that or you could even wrap it in um, paper if you have it. So I'm just using this old shirt. So I'm just measuring it by putting it over top and seeing where I want to have it line up. And then I will be hot gluing it to the trivet, and that is about it. I decide that that shirt doesn't work, so I, I use this other shirt. Um, that one was a little bit bluer than I wanted it to be, and this one was a nice black and white. So I'm just going to measure out what I need, cut it out, hot glue it to the trivet, and um, hot glue the truck. So again, my angle is horrible, and I glue on this truck um, into the middle of the trivet, and then I decide that it needs a little bit more, and I am going to add some uh, jute rope to the outer edges of the trivet, and again, I just hot glue it. So after I add the jute rope, I then add a little piece on the back to hold the sign up if you wanted to hang it up somewhere or even just like a little decorative piece. So here it is all finished. I love the way it turned out. Um, I hope you liked it too. Um, it can be displayed in a tray or anywhere like that. Make sure you check out the playlist, check out these videos I'm recommending, and don't forget to subscribe. Have an excellent day. Ha and stay safe.